Uh, it's it's bad, guys. It's really bad. I mean, there's no other way. No, no. Two hundred thousand flew into our country. They came by plane. They bought a plane ticket from their home country, and they flew into forty-three cities. And guess what? Here's here's the kicker. You're not going to believe this. It, it happened on an app that the Biden administration has. They were able to come in our country illegally by registering on a Biden administration app. That's how they did it. This is how damn bad it is. We have people coming in, planes, trains, automobiles, and boats, illegally invading America. Now we've been seeing a lot of UN vehicles on trains, but we haven't seen a UN army. He said that all these people that have come across the border are going to be the UN army. They hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, they're mercenaries. They are UN soldiers. They are getting paid. Um, this is their selection. This was their draft. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, let me see. And uh, how much is, is anything on that card now at all? Are the money the new? Are these uh, shipping containers that say UN? They're white shipping containers that say UN. Now I'm in Alvin, Texas, and I had to go back to get my wife. I saw a legion of army, UN army, UN, UN fucking plates, Apaches, tanks, standard vehicles, whatever, and an armament of fucking ammo. Just, they left from Alvin, Texas. There's another train right behind it with the same amount of vehicles. They are wearing American colors on UN, UN is wearing American colors. Let that fucking sink in. National Guardsmen, they stopped me at the door and I said, hey, isn't this the Roosevelt Hotel? And they said, no, it's not the Roosevelt Hotel. This is no longer a hotel. I quote, I'm going to walk down the street and show you that the National Guard, the Fed, has taken over the Roosevelt Hotel and several restaurants next to it. And migrants are on the floor 